It's Sunday. It's July the 28th. Um, yesterday, we started noticing a lot of, of striped bass floating in the lake. And we took a group down this morning fishing, and there were a lot of them um, floating. Um, perfectly normal thing. It happens more years than it don't. Um, it's a fish kill. Um, occasionally, we'll get through a year when we don't have the conditions that create it. But what's happened, um, if it's explained, is several weeks ago, it was a week after July the 4th, I did a video about water quality, and those fish were getting stressed that week. They were getting red bellied um, and getting pinned down on the bottom. You see them on your graph. Well, early this week, we started having tons of rain and cloudy days. Um, the rain's one thing, the cloudy days just add to it. If you don't get sunlight, it's hard to get the oxygen levels back up during the day. So we need sunlight to produce oxygen. Cloudy days don't do it, and all the rain on top of that adds to a problem. As that water flows through the lake, it mixes up in a water column, creates poor water quality, and these fish are already stressed. Um, just so everyone knows that don't, these striped bass, this is a unnatural environment. They do not belong in this freshwater system. These fish are stocked and they're already kind of at point break late in the summer with the hot weather. And then, now you put the water quality and the conditions on top of that, it stress them. And when these conditions evolve over a few days, we'll have a fish kill. Um, like I say, it's not, a, it's not a big thing. It's not pleasant to see. It's not pleasant to smell. It'll be over in a few days. Um, there's tons of fish in the lake, folks. We went this morning, caught a limit of fish for some folks in short order. Um, so it's not the end of the world. It's just something that happens. It's going to happen again. We hope it's not too bad um, that we preserve our fishery. But um, losing a few fish is just part of the thing. The Department of Natural Resources does a wonderful job of stocking our lake and taking care of things. And and they always monitor this, so rest easy on it. Um, it's not pleasant to see, obviously, but not the end of the world. But it's, it's a fish kill. These fish haven't been mishandled by fishermen or anything else. They're dying because they're stressed, and we can't do anything about what Mother Nature throws at us. That's just part of the deal. And anytime you put something in an environment that don't belong, you're going to have these type things occur, and we just have to deal with it.